You'll have noticed that this video series is not titled Live Video Streaming Excellence, but rather Periscope Marketing Excellence. So before we go any further, perhaps we should clear that up. For the uninitiated amongst you, just what is Periscope? Well, simply put, Periscope is a platform for video streaming. Just as Facebook is a platform for social media, Periscope is a platform for live video. Why did we choose Periscope to focus on for this video series? Well, simple, because it's the platform that is currently most likely to take off in the same way that Facebook has. But for now, let's head back to the first question. What is live video streaming and why should you care? Basically, live video streaming does what it says on the tin. It streams video live. Now, you might be thinking that's nothing new. After all, isn't Skype exactly the same thing? Isn't FaceTime? And both of those have been around for an age. Well, simple. The answer is yes, that's live streaming too. But what's different about Periscope is that it allows video to be streamed publicly. That means that anyone can tune in and start watching at any time. Additionally, they allow people to comment live, allowing the person filming to view and respond to the messages. Live streaming is a little like having your own television channel, except you only need a phone with one of the live streaming apps, such as Periscope, installed. From here, you then just point the phone and start shooting and can broadcast your message to as many people as are online to watch at any given time. When you use Periscope, you'll find that you're presented with a map of the world upon signing in. On this map are various points where you can see people who are currently streaming video. Simply click on the dot on the map and the name of the broadcaster and then you can tune in to start watching what they're filming. You can then comment on the video, ask questions, like it, follow the person or leave to watch something else. At this point you may still be struggling to get what it is about live streaming that's so exciting or so different. In that case I highly recommend installing the app yourself. You can find it on the Google Play Store for Android and it's quite a complicated URL, so if you just come to play.google.com, um, click on the link that says Apps, and then do a search for Periscope, it'll take you to this page. And you can also find it on iTunes for your iPhone. Again, it's a very complicated URL, so if you come to itunes.apple.com, and then do a search for Periscope, it'll take you to this page and then you can install it very simply. Once you do, click on a video. What you'll find is that it provides an incredibly voyeuristic feeling of getting a window into the lives of people from all corners of the globe. More amazing still is when you sign in and start watching a video and the person on camera actually greets you by name. It really feels as though technology is allowing you to transcend the limits of time and space and it's at this point that you realize the potential and the excitement of live video streaming. So if you log into Periscope right now, what can you expect to see? Really, there's quite a huge variety at the moment. Common videos include people doing workouts while their phone films them, people chatting over a cup of coffee or a mug of tea on a particular topic, People lying in bed just staring into the camera. People cooking and talking through recipes. People talking randomly. People reading excerpts from books. People not doing anything and just letting their viewers watch them as they go about their lives. Television presenters using Periscope to add more productivity and a whole lot more. What you also find quite a lot of is, well, people just using Periscope for experimental purposes. When you first get the app, one of the first things to do is to try streaming and a lot of people will just open their phones only for a moment, press the camera and then chicken out and stop filming. What's really exciting about live video streaming is the potential it offers for the future. Right now, Periscope is the most popular streaming app, but it still doesn't have floods of content. If you sign in right now, you'll likely find there are around 100 to 200 people recording content in the US. Now, that might sound like a lot, but it's hardly much when you compare it to something like YouTube, where thousands of hours of content are being uploaded daily. What's exciting is where Periscope will likely go as the technology progresses and the concept catches on. 
Essentially, live video streaming allows you to truly have eyes everywhere and to transport yourself anywhere in the world. It allows you to transport yourself anywhere and that means that you can see the world through the eyes of others. If you don't believe right now that live video marketing can get that big, then consider what would happen if there was a major world event right now. Now, imagine a huge riot in the streets that was being reported all over the news and which was simultaneously being streamed through Periscope by multiple different people at multiple locations around the event. Can you imagine what a difference this would make to the reporting? You know, how do you feel if you could experience being there live and speak to the person holding the camera? Inevitably, when this does happen, people will rush to the platform and it will boom in a huge way. Meanwhile, live video streaming could be used to stream other events like concerts from multiple angles. Or it could be used more, as it is already being, to add an interactive element to television. You could watch something being filmed, you know, like the news, and at the same time see it from your phone behind the scenes. It can also be used in more intimate ways. For instance, imagine that you can't attend a family gathering because you live in another country. Well, using Periscope, it will be possible for your family to beam you in and you could even follow different family members around different rooms. Likewise, for people who perhaps feel a bit lonely, Periscope could be used to take part in group gatherings or even just for some background company. In the future, we may also expect technology to progress and drive this forward further. For instance, it may one day be possible to see previews of the footage right in the thumbnails, you know, like hundreds of tiny windows to different parts of the world. Video fidelity will improve too, and so will the options that we have for capturing video. So imagine if something like Google Glass were to one day take off, allowing us to feed exactly what someone else is being fed straight to us anywhere in the world. And this is no pipe dream either. Live video streaming is still very new. Periscope and its major competitors all launched only in the last year, and yet it's already gaining huge momentum. For instance, did you know that Periscope already has over 10 million user accounts? And if you add up all the footage that's been recorded so far, it comes to over 40 years of footage. Periscope also has 2 million active users every single day and these users are located across 25 different countries. In the month it launched, it got 60,000 tweets every single day. Twitter definitely believes in the potential of Periscope in particular, seeing as they were willing to invest an incredible $100 million to purchase it. And Periscope isn't the only success story in this category either. Meerkat launched around the same time as a competitor to Periscope and had 120,000 users by the end of the first month. Twitch, which streams live video games, has 12 billion users at the end of 2014. Blab is another new streaming app which shows promise with incredible engagement. Their average user spends 65 minutes a day watching videos on the platform. And YouTube has been on the act too. The company live streams some events and the E3 event in 2015 managed to attract a gigantic 8 million viewers within just 12 hours. So in other words, this is massive news. People see the huge potential of live streaming and as such they're flocking to it. So should you be.